Okay, welcome to our, oh, I got it. Okay, hello everyone. Welcome to our Team Fireball call. Um, I will be hosting tonight. I'm so happy to see all of your faces, but I'm so sad because I have a PowerPoint and then I won't be able to see all of you, but that's okay. Um, let me see if I can share my screen. And now I just have to put on, it. oh. Is that good? No. Hold on. Something weird happened. Is that better? Okay, good. All right. So first and foremost, congratulations um, to our distributors who have new enrollments. You guys are amazing. Christy Simpson, Carol Betts, and Kimberly Page. Awesome, awesome. Good job. December is a tough month. Um, it's a tough month to get people to look at anything because life is crazy and it's a tough month to squeeze it in. So congratulations. Um, this is one of the hardest times of the year. So you guys are doing amazing. I'm sure it's all the work that you've been doing um, that's coming to fruition right now. So congratulations. Let's see. Okay. A few of our announcements, um, just our two events that are coming up, make sure that you're registered, that you've marked your calendar, you've saved the date, um, you want to be there. These are the most important. Um, so when we come together either virtually or physically in person and grow together, we learn, um, we feel the fire, the fuel, and you don't want to miss them. <laughs> Like every time I go to one, I'm like, I wish everyone could be here to hear what we're hearing. Um, Cause it's just not the same when you are listening after the fact. Um, so make sure that you mark your calendar. I can't believe only 93 days um, to the Evolve event in New Orleans. So, um, so exciting. Can't wait to see all of you again. So I had, um, I always think about, that's one of the great things about these calls is I always think about the things in my everyday life um, that are valuable to share, that I could share on our team calls. I'm always kind of like looking, you know, opening my mind to something, anything that I could learn that I could share with you guys. And one of my yoga classes, I get lots of inspiration from my yoga ladies. Um, there's a few that I just love and I love to go to their classes because they always share a little more something, you know, a little something about just things that help you with your everyday life or things to think about while you're practicing yoga. And one of them was talking about when you're in yoga, you're not just practicing different shapes, right? Or different exercises, you're practicing freedom and it's freedom from your everyday crazy life. It's taking time for yourself. You know, it's taking time to unplug from the crazy world around you and there shouldn't be any judgment, right? We're all here just to grow, just to try. Some days are better than others, um, but we're just here to be present. And with that comes this freedom. And I really like that because I felt like it had this beautiful parallel with our life vantage business because that's what we do, right? Like we're practicing freedom by sharing this knowledge, this knowledge that can bring people freedom from pain, from health troubles, financial constraints. Um, it brings time freedom. So I was like, oh, I really like that. Like if we really go and think of our life vantage business and our connections with people as we're, we're practicing freedom, right? We're offering freedom. We are growing in that realm of just opening up um, to meeting new people and sharing information that could bring them freedom. So I really kind of like the way um, it paralleled to our life vantage business. And so I started to just explore. <laughs> I just started kind of like looking at things with that theme in my mind. And um, that concept ended up leading me to a quote that I read that I, I really resonated with that I had to share with you guys. Um, and it's Les Brown who said, it's important to me that money not be important to me. 
And that really, really, I don't know why, made so much sense. Um, because when you're in a situation where money controls your actions, money controls your opportunities, your possibilities, that is not freedom. <laughs> and so I really, really like that quote. And it was just kind of a great reminder of just that financial freedom aspect. Um, but the TED talk that Shauna, her name is Shauna Shapiro, um, that I came across that talked about what you practice grows stronger. Um, and that to me has some huge, <laughs> you know, some huge implications that I think are so important. So I was like, hmm, I'm going to watch that one. That sounds really good. And it really was about like the power of mindfulness. And she talks about how perfection is not achievable, right? It's not possible, but transformation and progress is available to all of us, no matter what our background is, no matter what our situation is, um, it is there for, it's just there, you know, like it is attainable. Um, so I really like that. And the concept of what you practice grows stronger came from something that she learned when she went to a meditation retreat. She shares her story and talks about how when she was younger, she had a horrible injury. I'm like checking to see what time it is so I don't go on and on and on. <laughs> um, but anyway, back to my story. She had a terrible injury. She had to have back surgery. She really had to relearn how to live in this new body that could not do what her old body could. And her health journey led her to this meditation retreat in Thailand. And none of them spoke English. <laughs> All these monks were there and they didn't speak English, but she knew that she was supposed to practice mindfulness mindfulness was, you know, being in the moment, paying attention. And she had been told that all she needed to do was pay attention to her breath, just breathe in, breathe out. And she would take a breath, take another breath, and then her mind would wander, right? She'd have some thought that threw her into the present or, I mean, into the past or into the future or, you know, just squirrels everywhere. And she's like, oh, why can't I do this? Why is this so hard? And she just got like really judgmental, really frustrated, really frustrated with herself. And she's like, why is this so hard for me? And then she started getting annoyed with the monks. She's like, why aren't they helping me? Like, <laughs> she's like, why am I even here? I feel like a fake, you know, all that negative self-talk. And finally, there was um, a monk from London who arrived. And so she was so grateful that there was somebody there who spoke English and she's telling him how frustrated she is. And he says, oh dear, you're not practicing mindfulness. You're practicing frustration and impatience and judgment. And that's when he told her, he said, everything that you practice grows stronger. And she was like, Oh, <laughs> so mindfulness is not just paying attention in the present, but it's about how you pay attention in the present. And, you know, he kind of explained to her that it has to be in a spirit of kindness. You have to accept it all. When those thoughts pop into your head, that's okay. Let them pop in, let them pop back out. But when you become judgmental, frustrated, impatient, that's what's growing. And you have to be careful what you're growing. Um, and they're always, all the time, right? We're growing something. And I always think about that when my client's horses are being bad and I watch the behavior in front of me and the owners are letting them get away with it. <laughs> and I always tell them what my dad always told me. I'm like, every single interaction, every single moment that you are with your horses, you're teaching them something. Make sure that you're teaching them what you want to teach them. It's the same thing for us, right? Like what we practice on a daily basis is growing our brain in that direction. And it's not just an interesting thought, it's science, 
right? Our repeated experiences shape our brains and that's neuroplasticity. And the more we do something, the more we practice something, it actually affects our brain. It makes it stronger in that area. Um, and there was a, a famous study that they did in London on all the taxi drivers and that like visual spatial part of the brain was incredibly strong in them, like larger when they looked at their brains and mapped their brains because they have to be able to picture all those streets in London, you know? So what you do every day and what you focus your mind on is going to grow stronger and bigger. And so that in itself is just incredible, you know, that we have that control on the growth of our brain and what we can accomplish and what we can learn. Um, so just that like cortical thickening that happens from daily practice, the more you do something, the stronger it becomes, um, you know, things that monks and, you know, <laughs> religious people have told us, you know, philosophers for many, many years, it's like really cool to actually see like the science behind it, right? Like the little neuron, the neurons that are synapsing and the way that our brain reacts to our activity um, and the thoughts that come, come with it. And um, she talked about how they've actually done some studies on people that meditate and the parts of the brain related to attention, learning, and compassion were larger in people that meditate. So I just thought that was very interesting that people that take the time to sit quietly and try to, I guess, find that, that place where you're not bombarded by your environmental thoughts. Um, they just had, you know, the ability to be more kind and just had a different you know, perspective. Um, so in her studies, so she's a professor and a scientist. She did some studies, like some 20 year studies and compared different groups of people like, um, like high level business executives and stressed out college students and um, the veterans with PTSD. I mean, she kind of looked at all kinds of different groups of people and the two key things that came from her research were that number one, mindfulness is positive, it's good, but shame and self-judgment is not. And so she actually showed this picture of your brain on shame and um, it's crazy how harmful it is because when we have those, like that self-judgment and that negative self-talk and those feelings of shame, it shuts down your ability to learn or improve. So your mind becomes closed, your survival pathways kick in, right? Like your norepinephrine and your fight or flight, um, the amygdala kicks out a bunch of norepinephrine and that fight or flight kicks in and then you avoid it. So the areas where you need to be growing and improving, you avoid like the plague and then your mind is completely shut down to any kind of improvement or learning um, versus that kind mindfulness, the kindness turns on your dopamine receptors. I mean, turns on your dopamine production and then your learning centers of the brain open up and your mind is open to learn new things um, and you can grow and become stronger in those areas. So it was just a huge reminder to lead with love, you know, with ourselves and other people. And that's how progress and growth happens. Um, so I thought that was really interesting. It's, it was a good reminder. <laughs> I have to keep reminding myself in uh, my discussions with myself and other people. Um, but it's good to see the, the science behind it. Um, so the bottom line was that the solution is kind attention. So it's not just paying attention and being present in the moment, but actually almost like a hu like hugging the situation with kindness. Um, receiving those thoughts, um, they, she actually talked about how Harvard said that 40 per, 47, they did a study showing that 40% of the time our mind wanders. So 47% of the time, that's half the time. We're not even like on the same planet. <laughs> 
like we're not even paying attention. We are not in the present. Like we are out in left field. And um, that that's just normal. That's just normal. And so we just have to realize that that's kind of how we're wired <laughs> is to get distracted and have all these thoughts. Um, but it's so important to kind of, you know, bring your focus back um, and just pay attention to that like self-talk and how we look at the world and, you know, some of the ways that we think about things. Um, so the solution is kind attention and that mindfulness is really intentionally paying attention with kindness. And that leads to learning and progress, action and um, transformation. So I thought that was really cool. And then she shared a story about her meditation coach, um, just talking to her about, you know, the negative judgmental self-talk and that her um, coach gave her the advice of saying, I love you, Shauna. And Shauna was like, that just feels too weird. I can't do that. So she was like, okay, well, try good morning, Shauna. And she said, and put your hand on your heart because it helps with like oxytocin release. And she's like, okay, okay. The science got her, you know? So every morning she'd say, good morning, Shauna. And eventually like, she's like, I like it. Like, it's a good way to start the day. Like I'm more likely to have a good morning if I say good morning, Shauna. So she let her coach know. And then her coach said, okay, now I want you to say good morning. I love you, Shauna. And she's like, okay, I'll do it. <laughs> And she, you practice and practice because what you practice grows stronger. And eventually she said, I felt it. I felt my grandmother's love. I felt my mother's love and I felt my love for myself. Um, so it was just really cool to kind of hear her story and, you know, her growth and then how it led to her research and um, what she learned from her 20 year, you know, study with all these different groups of people. And, um, you know, it's things that we've all like known and heard from different angles, but it's really fun when the science supports it and you're like, you know, you can kind of wrap your head around it from a different angle. Um, but it was really cool. So she challenged us to say, good morning, good morning. I love you to ourselves. And, um, cause she said, whatever you practice grows. So pay attention to what you're growing. And I was going to leave your, you guys with, um, Another quote that I thought was very, very relevant to what we do in our life vantage business and why we're here and um, why we're doing what we're doing. And, you know, I always know that it's important to remember our why. And I think it's because our why brings us freedom, right? When we think about what our why is, it's usually linked to something that is transformational and brings us that freedom that we're looking for. And um, so that I found a, a quote by William Faulkner that says, we must be free, not because we claim freedom, but because we practice it. And it just brought me right back to that whole practice, you know, like we're practicing freedom, we're pra practicing kindness um, and just something beautiful grows from that. All right, so <laughs> I had to throw in a product. Um, I just came back from a wild, fast and furious um, trip to Europe for my sister's 50th birthday. And she wanted to have a big party. I tried to talk her out of it, but <laughs> it was her 50th and I was not gonna talk her out of it. Um, but it was wonderful, but it was fast um, and crazy. And right before I left, I got the flu. So I was like, great, I'm going to have to fly with the flu, feeling terrible. Um, thank goodness I had run out of my daily wellness and I kept forgetting to order and I thought I had it on auto ship, but I didn't. And so finally, when I got the flu, I was like, this is what I get. <laughs> so I call my mom and I'm like, do you have some daily wellness? Because I need it. I need it now. And she said, yeah, I've got an extra tub. So thank goodness she brought me her extra tub. I started taking it again and then I took it with me. I took my Axio, I took my daily wellness, I took my Nerf 2 and I took my NAD. 
And um, I didn't want to take everything because I knew I didn't want to take a million pills every day. And I do that. I tend to kind of pick and choose. There's certain things I always take. <laughs> and there's some things I kind of like don't take super consistently. Um, but I was like, I'm going to need my NAD with the jet lag um, and all and the, you know, everybody being sick. I knew I wouldn't be able to live without my daily wellness. But you guys, I did not sleep. Like I slept one hour on the plane there. Then I had to stay up all day long. Then we had to do karaoke. Then we went to bed late. And then my friend's puppy literally woke me up at like 7 a.m. And I didn't go to sleep, you know, like I didn't get much sleep, like licking my face. So he did that every single morning. And because I was jet lagged and my body was all out of whack, I was only sleeping like three hours every night. <laughs> it was nuts. But every day, everybody was like, you look amazing. You have not aged. You look exactly the same. Like I got all these compliments about how I looked exactly the same. I didn't look a day older and they couldn't believe how I was coping and um, surviving through the jet lag and all that good stuff. Um, but I give full hundred percent credit <laughs> to our amazing products. Cause I know I could not have done it without them. And, you know, even on the way home, I was cheap and I bought a ticket. I had to go through Washington, D.C. and then Atlanta. So that's like another almost 24 hours of travel, like 20 hours of travel. And I was driving home from Atlanta, bright eyed and bushy tailed, you know, like never before I was introduced to our products could I have done that. I would have been falling asleep on the road, pulling over, trying to sleep for 20 minutes, get back on the road. Um, so it's just amazing to me. We really take our products for granted, but then when you really put it to the test, you're like, hallelujah, <laughs> how did I ever live without these? Um, but just that like sense of wellness, you know, like being able to keep up with the craziness of the season, the craziness of life. Cause you never know what it's going to throw at you. Um, it really does provide us with the freedom to do what we want when we want minus a lot of extra struggle. <laughs> so I just um, really appreciated all of our products, but I wanted to cover NAD because it's been a while since we've talked about it. Um, and it's one that is still just a little bit out there for me. I don't know why I can't seem to grasp it very well. So it was a good refresher for me. Um, but the NAD works through the principle of our sirtuin activity. So people have always known that sirtuin activity equals health, longevity, and the longer your sirtuins are, the longer you live, um, or the more sirtuins you have, the longer you live. And they have shown that NAD is a key component and those pathways are so important. Our NAD is different, right? Because we're not just supplementing NAD. We are actually, it's an NAD activator. So we're turning on those pathways and um, the result <laughs> is amazing. Uh-oh, I lost my slide. Darn. Oh, I must've hit it. I don't know if I can fix that. It's back. I see it. Well, it's not the one I wanted though. Oh. I wanted the one with the cool chart that shows the 100% increase in NAD activity, but that's okay. I can tell you about it. Um, so it's it was comparing um, the NAD supplements that are on the market that only show 2% sirtuin activity increase. And then the other thing that increases our sirtuin activity is intermittent fasting and strict caloric restriction, like 600 calories a day. Um, so very, very strict caloric restriction. And that has shown to increase your sirtuin, your sirtuin activity and um, longevity and other you know, health benefits. And the strict caloric restriction that's like 600 calories and really, really hard for people to do um, increases your sirtuin activity. I think it's 96% um, versus our NAD our pro tandem NAD increases it by hundred percent. So it is more than comparable. Um, and we don't have to do all that caloric restriction, <laughs> which is really hard to do, especially during the holidays when you're traveling in Paris and eating all the yummy 
pizzas and breads and all that good food. Um, so I was so grateful for it. I know I wouldn't have gotten through and gotten the same experience if I hadn't been on our products. Um, but the benefits of our NAD is it supports um, healthy longevity. Let me scoot our faces over. There you go. And the removal of cellular waste, which is autophagy, because you've got to remove all the waste to keep your cells healthy. Improves your mental focus and concentration. I can vouch for that. Supports positive mood and motivation. I can definitely vouch for that. Supports the body's healthy inflammatory response. Um, I cannot believe it, but I didn't get sick, even though I was on the Metro, you guys, the Metro is disgusting. Like you have all these people in this tiny amount of space from all over the world with all kinds of funk. <laughs> and then I, we know went to this big party. There were a million people there. My aunt and uncle had COVID and I had lunch with them, hugged them, kissed them. You know, I accidentally picked up other people's wine glasses and drank out of them. <laughs> So I was setting myself up for failure for sure. So thank goodness <laughs> for our products um, that kept me healthy because I had to come home and, you know, do life again and get back to work. Um, so maintain existing healthy cholesterol levels. And I can't read the last one because it's covered up. So, but I'll let you guys read it. <laughs> um, but amazing products. I'm so grateful for them. Um, let me unshare. How do I unshare? Stop share. Okay, there you go. Um, but anyway, I just, you know, when you're in that kind of situation where life is crazy and you're going on no sleep and you've got a million people to see kids to meet that you haven't met yet. I mean, I had family from Italy and my cousins from England and, you know, all my French cousins all in one place. Like I didn't want to miss a minute and I wanted to feel good, you know, like I wanted to be able to enjoy it and, and be able to spend that short, you know, quality time with everyone. And, um, and I was just like, oh, thank goodness. <laughs> I'm like, so, so thankful. And then I'm like, I got to share this with the world, you know? So it's just part of that whole freedom thing, you know, like the freedom to feel good, experience life, like you want to experience it and um, make all the connections with all the people that are important. And um, so that's about it. We've got a couple minutes on the call. I just, I kind of love that theme of practicing freedom that it's a work in progress, that it doesn't just happen overnight, right? And it's not something that we just find one day. It's something that we work towards. And um, so I just thought I would share it with you guys. Thank you for being on the call. And thank you if you're on the replay. I appreciate you taking the time. And um, Merry Christmas. <laughs> Merry all the fun stuff that happens before Christmas. So I'll open up the call if you guys have any questions um, or anything you'd like to share. I have something I want to share real quick. And Alice, you're amazing. I can't believe how you go, 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 girl. Um, I'm so impressed. But and I'm so happy that you had a good time despite being sick in the beginning. So because that's got to be terrible. But super awesome that our products helped you. And um but I have a praise report from someone about our products. And I'm super excited because this is a girl who I've only met a couple of times. She's friends with my sister, um, big workout buddies. She's probably in her, she's in her thirties. She has two kids and apparently she's had whacked out hormones um, ever since she had kids and she's just had a really hard time with her hormone levels and like hard to get her baby weight off and yada, yada, yada. So I don't know. She was like messaging. We're in a group message and she was messaging a few months ago and asking about, do we take supplements? And, you know, my sister like never opens her mouth to anybody, even though she's been on this for how many years, but hello, third party validation jumps in. And I, you know, I start telling her about Protanum and she like looks it up and she's like, wow, these are really great herbs. And then I'm like, yeah, I was like, she goes, how do I get them? I said, I'll have, you know, Ashley can send you a link. So she ordered it. It's been about three months. So um, yesterday she messages us in the group text. And I mean, I'm so bad. Like I just, 
I kind of forgot about it. She's been taking it for three months. And she says, just out of the blue, um, she says, these pills are changing my life. My hormones are regulating. I'm getting acne again. Who would have thought? I don't think that should be a, a bulletin board for pretandum, but she was happy. She goes, and that hasn't happened in years. <laughs> And she goes, I'm not craving bad food anymore. And I'm not starving all the time either. I feel like how I was before Harper. Hopefully I can get weight off. She goes, I took supplements for years and it messed my hormones up and they were supposed to regulate them, but it did not. It made me gain so much weight. And I said, I was like, that's amazing, Heather. You know, I go, which ones are you taking now? Cause I wasn't sure if she was just on Nerf one or, or Nerf two, I mean. She's taken Nerf one and Nerf two. And I told her how her body is activated, not supplemented. And she goes, like, I have been trying for years to get my hormones in check. And I'm finally feeling normal. I'm going to give some to my mom because she's sleep deprived. <laughs> and so then I was like, Heather, you have a customer referral link. She didn't even realize that because she's like wanting to tell everybody she knows now. And I'm like, I'm not even talking to her about being a distributor at this point. I was like, you know what? If your mom wants to order, here's your customer referral link and she can get $10 off and that'll give you $10 off the next time. And I'm like, anybody you want to tell or share this with? And she was like so over the moon about her, her customer referral link, you know? So it's just kind of a nice way to like, she has a story. Um, she's not feeling a pressure, the pressure to be a distributor. Now she just wants to share it with people she knows and like, she can give them a link with a discount. Like, I just think that's so awesome that our company is still doing that. I mean, that's so huge. And, you know, again, it's just a reminder, like we got to check in with our customers <laughs> because she, you know, like if she hadn't have just messaged us in that group, like, I just would have forgot about her. And, you know, would have had no idea, like she's having good results and anyway, so I just wanted to share that with y'all because I'm so excited for her. Oh, I love it. See, that's freedom, freedom from all the weird hormones. <laughs> yeah. Get the know, acne not... again. Who would have thought, who would have thunk it? Anybody be happy about that? <laughs> uh, she's just seeing a difference, you know, like there's right. so many things that people take and they feel absolutely nothing. And they are like. I'm still taking it, but I don't know if it's doing anything, you know, like that. I love how demonstrable our products are, especially the collagen, you guys. Um, if you didn't listen to the Team Global Aloha call, it was really good. Brett Brimhall was on it um, and he kind of shared his story with Axio and how it really made him take a serious look at the company and the transformation and the little, the kids with um, autism and then um and now how he's like fallen in love with the collagen and he just like loves how it's so different he's like people have a different budget for collagen <laughs> they have a totally different budget yes and i was i was in costco today and so many there was like this whole like ginormous stack of collagen and people were like standing by it like reading it looking at it and i was like wow there people are really into it so it's probably because they've been seeing our pictures on Facebook. <laughs> <laughs> They're like, where's that one that everybody's posting about? <laughs> oh, I did get an email from Life Vantage that said something about there's this big, huge chunk of money in college and cash that's available for us to grab. So that's always good to remember extra, extra money over the holidays. So. I have a quick um, fun thing to share. Um, so I, I had a dentist appointment on well, last week. I'm pretty sure it was last week. So I, I got all the research documents that, that you guys have shared and what have you and uh, some I've downloaded and I printed them all up and put them in the binder. And, and when I got there, I asked if my dentist was available because she her practice, she specializes in like TMJ and all this kind of stuff. So um, they bought her out and I gave her the packet and I said to her, 
hey, you know, I'm taking this stuff. And I said, it, I, it is really fun. And I didn't say stuff. I said, <clears throat> cell activators. And I said, with your, what you do, I said, I thought you might be interested in some of the research. And she went through it really quickly while I was standing there. And she said, oh, my gosh. She goes, how do I not know about this? And then she texted me and said, I'm, I ordered some stuff and I'm really interested in getting together and learning more about the products. And I think she had spoke it, so it was not totally clear what she was trying to say. But she said, if I can refine this for my customers, I'd like to be a distributor. Wow, Carol, awesome. good for you for following up. I, so I, amazing. she didn't get, but then she didn't get back to me. So I messaged her this morning and said, I'd open up some time. So she said Friday, but she hasn't got back to me with the time. So I'm hopeful I get to meet with her on Friday, but Ooh, that you would be offer. You should offer a lunch and learn, bring lunch for her staff and do the whole, like do a lunch and learn for this. I'm guy. not sure. I'm not sure I'm ready for that yet, but yeah, you are. <laughs> you're, you're amazing, Carol. You're so good. But what I'm going to say to her, because she's done some Zoom calls about breathing for TMJ and different things. And I was going to say to her, you know, um, I have a team and I'm sure many of them would be more than willing to put Zooms together for you on different products. We could work with you that you could put out there for your client base and Yes. And don't, and in, even during the meeting, like if, you know, she has specific questions and if you want to like, just bring in one of us on a, on the phone or something like that's so powerful, you know, to have just that third party validation. So don't forget about that too. Cause I mean, it's, it, especially when she starts getting into like really sciencey stuff or anything like that, just tell, let her know you have a whole team of like you know, doctors and healthcare professionals and that, you know, we're, there's, there's a ton of people that could help answer her questions. And anyway, just don't forget about that, that little key too, but that's so fabulous. Congrats. Jen, girl. Jen and I try and come, but um, I just don't, I'm not sh we, because I don't have a time yet. We don't know, but awesome. That's awesome. Oh, that's exciting. I'm excited for you, Carol. I love it. Oh, well, thank you guys. We went seven minutes over. <laughs> so I guess I'll let you guys go to bed or go feed horses or whatever it is that's on your schedule. Um, but you guys have a wonderful night. Thank you for jumping on live. It feels so good to see everybody. And um, you guys have a wonderful night. Good night.